Welcome to today's Wednesday webinar, The Power of Positivity. I'm Steph Wanick from ESU8. We hope you choose to make this a positive year with your students. Treat your students like they are already the people you want them to become. Be surprised when they are mean because you know they are kind. Children come to believe the positive assumptions we make about them when we persist in believing it ourselves. This is even research proven. John Hattie, one of the world's foremost educational researchers, has listed teacher estimates of achievement as the top educational strategy. It had an effect size of 1.62. Now 0.4 is an average effect size. An effect size quantifies the significance of an educational strategy. So when we hear that something is quadruple average, we know that that has a tremendous effect on student learning. So teachers estimating that achievement or teachers believing in kids doing great things and achieving um, high standards really does have that effect on the achievement. Our attitude really does dictate their achievement. Also, the number two strategy is collective teacher efficacy. Now that is teachers believing that when we come together, we can do great things. We work hard and, that, and the, the work that we do as a teacher, the strategies that we use, um, that they will have an effect on students um, has a 1.57 effect size. Again, that's about quadruple average. So again, our belief in the work that we're doing um, affecting students really does have an effect on them and an effect on their achievement later. So let's be that teacher who when given the hard class says, these aren't hard kids, these are my kids. Go out there and believe in your students. And you can think about your class as a bag of trail mix. You have your M&Ms. Oh, they're colorful and they're bright and they're sweet. And you might seek them out first in the bag. They might even be your favorites. And then you have your nuts. Oh, they add that salt and that crunch that you need in your class. Oh, peanuts are, are sought after as well. People love peanuts. And then you have your raisins. Oh, they might be a little shriveled. They might not be as pretty to look at. Oh, some people put them off to the side because they just don't like the flavor. Um, but they're what help make the mix. Without all three components, would it truly be trail mix? Without all of the students in your class, would it truly be a great class? So I challenge you to go find um, the unique qualities of every one of your students and start that school year on a great note where you remember to estimate high outcomes for your students and believe that the things that we do as teachers will make an effect on your students. Have a great year.